Hey guys, how are you today? And in this video, we will see how to randomize the right Niagara particle. Randomize means in any factor of particles like the size, position or color. So how to randomize those things and how we can control that randomization. So we will cover that in this video. So inside my Unreal Engine project, let's let me create a new folder, random, randomize. And here I will make a new Niagara and just call it and it's random. And I'll just take a new emitter and I'll take this fountain. Just double click on it. And let me make this a little darker. And instead of these spawning particle that's just falling down this fountain i'll just take the static particle so i can randomize and you can that will be visible properly so i'll delete these modules i don't need velocity or shape i don't need spawn rate i'll just use spawn burst maybe 20 particles i will take and just spawn once and leave forever so i have 20 particles there that live forever and to just offset it i will go to position and break this uh, vector and in the x or any other uh, axis i'll just take the x uh, normalize id and i'll just increase this and see with that value that means the distance from here to here is 231 and they are divided equally okay so you can see by default the size of the particles is random okay so why because inside the initialized particle if you'll see here the size mode it is random okay uh, okay so it is uh, uniform random we can use uniform that's just 10 size and it has also mass so i don't need that for now so now you can see all these 20 particles has the same size of course you can go to randomize and then make the random maybe 5 and 0.1 increase so you can make a randomization so what other ways if you have the uniform value uh, because here you have this option but if you have a uniform value like this which doesn't have that option to randomize you can just go here and type uniform and random plot okay and then you have minimum and maximum that works the same so you will the size will distribute randomly minimum maximum size okay then one more thing you can use is to randomize this you can go to uniform again reset this and you can use curve and because it's taking the normalized edge instead of because particle position is depend on the execution id so i will use the execution id same here and then depending on that curve if i make this 10 size will distribute so this is also randomization because some are big, some are slow. Although there looks like a linear size increasing because of this curve, you can just like increase, change the size. And you can see now the big, small, then again big, depending on that curve. So you can add multiple points and make the randomization. Like this is go down, this is go up, this is go up. So now you have. But now you have very controlled randomization depending on that curve. Okay. So like you want just few particle big, then all are small. So I'll delete these points. And like at zero, and let me just use this. At zero, it is 10. And at point two, it is one. So you can see for very few particles, three, three or four, the size is very straight. And you can also go like select these two and right click and just constant okay so now if i increase the time of this you can see how it's changing cool so this is how you can use curve the next thing is if you have uniform you said this again you want to just edit very few particles uh, size so what you can do like if you take this random it just make the particle random with these two value but it's working on all the particles you just want like percentage like 10 percentage or maybe 20 percent or 50 percent reset this 
This time type the uniform and take this uniform A or B float. It will give you a weight and A and B that weight is percentage that divide these together. So let's say uh, divide these separately. So let's say this is 10 and this is 1. And now this is 50%. So 50% particles small, 50% uh, bigger. If I make this 0.1, just the 10% particles are bigger because that B value is, the, uh, is when you decrease this. So 0 means this taking the blue B value. 1 means it's taking the A value. So in between it will uh, like smoothly separate that. Okay. So now if I increase or decrease this, you can see I can control like if you just want one particle big so that's the percentage okay and with this you can just increase the size like 50 so there will be just one particle and one more thing like this one particle is big and all other particles are same size but you want that random size so this this minimum value which is a you can randomize and now this is one and one and you can just go with like this. So now you can see you have one particle, one or two, because it's just a random value I put. So this is big and then all other particles has randomization because of this. So this is what you can do. And let's say one more thing you do. You have this and you make this a user parameter. Okay, and then you have this user parameter here. Let me also make this local and you drag this here and this is your particle and you want to copy this so alt press and drag so now you have two and you want to increase the size of this of course you will go here in the user parameter change the size so like 20 so now this is bigger than that but all the particle size is changing together you want randomization in this so basically what you can do you can copy this and you can multiply multiply this float paste that on b or a anyone and then randomize the other parameter like 0.1 and 1 and now you see they have randomization and still you can increase the size so that means this size maybe 30 it's multiplying with 1 and 0.1. So 1 means it's taking the 30 size. 0.1 means it's taking the 3 size. So depending on that randomization, this 30 value is multiplying and it's giving you that randomization. Okay, cool. So you understand that. Now the next thing is, let's say you have this and you have 10 and 1. And see, first is small, second is big. But when I play again, it again changes every time it changes the randomization if you want to fix that go into the properties use this determinism click and now see this one is big then small and if i replay it's not changing it's always there it's always same cool now i want to show you something that let's say this is 10 and 10 and you can do the same thing with color. So let's say you have this red color here. And then in the hue, I make this plot. And this value is making it randomization. Although if I don't make this float, this give you minimum and maximum. Okay. But you can make it float. Then you can treat it, treat it as like the size. Everything you can do. So basically zero means red and one means red but in between it's changing the color so now you can randomize it from zero to one and then you can also randomize it depending on percentage so let's say 0.2 and 0.1 so just the two particles are red rest of particles are purple okay so this is what you can do then you can also go with the curve and again take the execution index and see how smoothly it's changing it and you can also smooth these like this cool so all the things i did in the particle size you can do with the color now i want to show you one thing let's say you have this randomized color and this is blue then orange 
and if I go again and again because I'm using determinism this will take the same color and also let me change the size again so this is the size and color and every time it's remain same but you want when I play color should be random every time but the size should be same or vice versa so what you have to do wherever you taking the randomization this random range float if I go down this arrow it will open this window and this is randomization mode and randomized seed if I use non-determinism now you see every time it will change color but the size remain same okay and now you can also go to determinism and then use a single ID so let's say this is zero and this is like yellow then it's turning to blue okay same but if I don't like this pattern I can change this and same thing you can do here in the property this one so this is the size pattern you can see small and big and you don't like this pattern so you can just change it from here and whatever value you put here it will take that value and use that every time okay so you can just put any random value so these were the things and see if you do the size and everything in the update like this is 10 and 10 size is 10 and 10 and to take you take the size here and you can do the same thing here instead of age you can take the normalized index see and you can go to float then you can randomize and see when you take randomize it shows you the only spawn so at a small spawn time it will uh, randomize the things but instead of this if you use the per frame it will randomize the size every frame okay so maybe you can use it somewhere if you want so i don't think i have left anything i have covered this color and everything and same thing you can do with the position also like this is the position and you want to also add it the z let me just make the size same so it will look good so this is the size and let's say this is the z position which is offsetting it so you can randomize the z position and see some particle going up and if you want just few particle go up what you will use random uniform a or b float so like 0.2 i'll make it zero and see few particles now this is the percentage how many particles you want cool you can also use curve of course and again i'll go here so any float value you have you can do the same thing and let's say i'll use this and i'll just make this later up so it will work exactly like this curve okay cool so i hope now i'm clear thanks for watching keep learning bye bye